Welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can build subscribe button in Fusion inside DaVinci Resolve 17. This is a quick guide on how to make some really cool YouTube subscribe button graphic in Fusion and save them out as a title so you can reuse them in any project. It is a great way to bring your videos to the next level. Let's not waste any more time and let's start creating. Today I'm going to show you how to build subscribe button in DaVinci Resolve 17 in Fusion page. So let's get started. So first thing we're going to open media pool. We're going to search media if we have any uh, reference uh, image of, uh, for, for the subscribe button. So let's see if we can find one on the internet so let's go to uh, google and just uh, go with uh, subscribe button png so we find one this will be okay just go and save image s put it in your folder or put it on your desktop and we're gonna start with with that so let's import this media that we just downloaded to our uh, media pool so let's go here yeah open and uh, this we're gonna need in fusion page so next step is that you right click and click on new fusion composite uh, you can call it uh, subscribe button Uh, you can also change the duration of the clip. I usually use for that kind of clips uh, just five seconds. Uh, you can also uh, change the frame rate. I will leave it in on 24. So create and double click on subscribe uh, this folder. So um, now we are in the fusion page you can see that we have media out here already so we're gonna put also our reference uh, picture or image in so we're gonna press one that we can see the image in uh, our screen one uh, if you don't know how to to do double screen just go to icon icon here so you have a double viewer just press on it and you have two screens here so let's go further with that we're gonna drag and drop background we're gonna connect it with media out and we will just lower them down a little bit so next thing is that we need this red background so let's bring this background node in and uh, change first we're going to change the color just pick this uh, uh, eye drop tool eye dropper tool so and we have the red color so we can see it here or just press uh, two on the your keyboard so next thing is is that we need to uh, shape shape this uh, uh, a button here so we're gonna do it with a rectangle so just press on rectangle and as reference we can use uh, this image or this button here so what we're gonna do we're gonna uh, change the width width so we're gonna change it approximately approximately the same size at, as we have here so height we're gonna also do almost the same so we're gonna zoom it in that you can see also so let's change size a little bit width so we're gonna change corner as well uh, we can zoom out and we can see that we have here uh, the perfect rectangle for this 
So next thing is we need this white rectangle here. So we're gonna repeat the steps. So let's drag and drop this background. Uh, so this one is gonna be white. Let's pick up the uh, eyedropper tool. So we can see here that we have white one. So we're gonna take the rectangle as well. Uh, next thing is I suggest that you zoom in and uh, you can change also the center so it would be easier for you so you're gonna change it like this so let's go a little bit back and gonna be right, all right so we can change the center as well a little bit like this yeah so we can yeah that's it so we're gonna do the same with the height so we can zoom in to see that we're gonna change the corner radius as well so let's change a bit this one so next step will be we we need to see what we have done until now so let's connect uh, this background to with uh, background one uh, and we, we got first merge node so we're gonna press two and we we we, we are seeing here so the white uh, white rectangle on a red rectangle so next thing is that we need to do this triangle here so the easiest way is that you highlight rectangle go to polygon and when you have polygon go to directly and to, to this image and just mimic this triangle on it so, and next thing is go to paint mode where it says merge uh, we're gonna subtract this so this way we basically cut out the triangle from the white background so this is this was quite easy and quite fast so next thing that you need is text let's drop the text note here we're gonna write it in uh, subscribe so that's it we're gonna change the size as well but first we're gonna connect it to merge and uh, we're gonna see what we have done yes so let's change the size and let's change the position as well so let's zoom out a little bit yeah, we can push it a bit right and that's it looks quite nice so one thing that we don't need anymore is media one so we can delete it uh, now we have button uh, prepared for for this so next thing that we would like to do is let's first just uh, highlight all those notes here uh, press shift and uh, space tab uh, here we we're gonna get the, uh, the drop down menu select tools and we're gonna uh, just press U and D under lay so we're gonna put it everything in the box basically so that everything we can move very easy very fast no problem at all so we can change the name uh, this of this and underlay or we can leave it like this we just connect merge to with uh, background one so we have received now uh, merge three with merge three we're gonna basically do the animation as well so how are we gonna do that it's very easy so our playhead is on left hand side on zero 
first we're gonna change the size of it and then we're gonna change the position as well so let's change this one to see what we are doing now so now we changed the size as well so we it can be a little bit bigger and uh, now we're gonna uh, keyframe click keyframe it this uh, subscribe button so let's go back to the center uh, press this diamond here on the right hand side and uh, just grab your playhead put it back to zero and uh, just uh, hide subscribe button so like this and now we can see what will happen yeah basically quite nice let's play it again so one thing is you don't want to leave it there for whole time so uh, this effect will be like five seconds so we need to uh, hide again the subscribe button we're gonna go to 105 frame so we're gonna do the same thing as before so we're gonna keyframe it and we're gonna grab play hat push it till the end and we're gonna hide our note and uh, let's play it through yeah quite nice so this is the easiest effect that we can do right now so next thing is that we're gonna change also a few other things so uh, I would like that this button will change the color but first we're gonna keyframe it because I would like that uh, this button when you press it goes a bit smaller or big, bigger it doesn't matter so we will do like uh, uh, smaller so now we have size of it uh, 42 point 42 and and we're gonna start it on frame 20 so let's go a couple of frames uh, ahead so we're gonna no, we're gonna return this this is the other one so let's go to frame 20 and uh, next thing that we're gonna do we're gonna frame uh, keyframe it here so we're gonna go a couple of uh, frames uh, forward and we're gonna change the size so you see it's 40, uh, 0.42 so we can go like 36 it's gonna be quite a significant change so and now we go a couple of frames further as well so we're gonna put it back to uh, 42 point 42 and let's play through it yeah you can see the jump that has made so that's good next thing is that I would like that this button change the color when it's on the smallest smallest uh, uh, version so let's go and bring in the uh, color corrector so first thing that we're gonna do with color color corrector uh, we basically gonna put him in the between uh, merge 2 and merge 3 that's it so next thing that we need to do uh, highlight color corrector go to uh, options and because we would like uh, changes only on this button so only the, on the subscribe button we're gonna tick this pre divide post multiply uh, button so when we have done this go back to corrector and uh, next thing that we're gonna do as I say 
we have here uh, three keyframes so we are on 22 frame 22 so what we're gonna do uh, we're gonna go to a color corrector and we're gonna put the saturation to zero and one thing is that we need to go to settings and keyframe it here put it on zero and we can go two frames further uh, keyframe it and put it to one so let's play it through yeah it looks nice so next thing that we're gonna do what we have to do now is uh, we have to remove this black background so let's go to uh, background one and just put the alpha to zero and now you have the proper one the proper uh, so let's drag some video clip on it so we can put also the our uh, subscribe button so let's play through to see what we have done so quite nice i reckon that we have done quickly uh, not so much effort so i think it's quite nice so one thing more that I reckon that you would like to use this subscribe button in different uh, versions so if you have your own YouTube channel you would like to have this uh, saved somewhere so let's go and uh, highlight the whole uh, notes without media out and go uh, uh, onto one of uh, the notes just right click go to macro create macro uh, just change the name of macro so you can go with uh, sub button um, you can go simple close save changes yes of course so we're gonna put it in uh, on desktop so let's put it here save it and now we're gonna save this uh, whole work that we have done so let's wait a bit and then close davinci resolve so next thing uh, we need to open uh, our file explorer go to drive c open program files open blackmagic design davinci resolve fusion templates edit titles and now you can open also uh, let's open this blackmagic design so we have save it here and just drag and drop this uh, sub a subscription button to titles so continue yes and it's gonna be copied there so we're gonna close this and open uh, DaVinci Resolve again so we are back in uh, Fusion page so let's go uh, uh, back to edit page so in edit page we're gonna open uh, let's delete this one here and let's delete edit page so we have titles let's gonna let's check where should it, this one be so some button simple uh, just, just gonna drag to the timeline so we can close this one and we can play it through let's leave it again so 
So let's go with the full screen. Yeah, nice. So if you have any questions regarding this topic or regarding this uh, subscribe button, uh, let me know down in comments. Uh, and that's it for today. See you next time. Nice sub button, right? What do you think? If you find this tutorial helpful, hit that thumbs up and don't forget to share. If you like to see more tutorials like this, make sure to subscribe. Till next time, have a good one.